Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man run with the Army of Two. So we're reducing our squad size to only two. My name is Saiken and I'm going to invite you to join me on this beautiful supply raid a mission without a mission timer where we can get some additional supplies. And of course our team uh, this time will be uh, Dragonover plus a sniper at Galleon Po. Like, what would be more fitting than to take a slow and cautious approach to them, camp somewhere on high ground and just kill everything inside? Love it. Uh, the idea of it is very appealing. So we might be able to grab even one or two of the supplies. I think that's the minimum which we would need to grab in order to quote unquote successfully do the mission. I am willing to do the mission successfully because if we fail, we also lose yet another country. So, uh, um, plus, since uh, uh, in this particular part of Africa, our um, tower is currently built, that would also mean we're losing a couple of extra supplies. Uh, so, not very desirable. We want to be successful on the mission. Let's go. I would say, let's go. It's one of the few ways for us to get um, uh, alien alloys and also um, alarium, both of which is very valuable for us at the moment. Starting in high ground and uh, more so on the edge of uh, the map, that's even better. There will be no timer starting before we haven't um, triggered the very first pack and that's good oh mutants hmm but we do have a remote start so how about you guys just move into the area of explosion of the remote start that would be great and then we can give it a go. I go where you tell me. All right, Dragonova moves in. Finds out that they have already moved on. And we are disappointed. I think these trucks here can, or these uh, loading machines can also be exploded. As you order, Commander. Affirmative, covering now. Interesting. So they seem to be on the prowl, looking for something. Can't really remote sort anything near to them. Not yet. Vault says I am to obey. Hmm. Come on, guys. I know you want to go and position yourself somewhere close to an explos uh, explosive object. That's the 101 you are learning in alien school or alien university. Every alien is doing that. They have a complete disregard of standing next to explosive things. Why wouldn't you listen to the to the lessons of the Alien University. <sighs> I hate it when patrols are not performing as I wish them to perform.
Yeah, we can't detonate anything there. At least I think so. No, we can't. Which means we're just going to wait it out. I know, not the most exciting uh, alternative. I really want to do the remote start. And sitting up here, by the way, is super safe because uh, they can't climb up. It's blocked. They don't know it. They can't spot me out. Ooh, look at you. Another patrol. If that other patrol... Um, it would be considering moving closer to the explosive. That would be helpful. Nope, still can't hit uh, them. Neither of the packs for this uh, for this regard. So let's wait until they are closer to a remote start. Apparently they have moved somewhere. Nope, still not. My life is in Gosh, why would you make it so difficult, really? I don't want to use the claymore on the first pack. Really, I mean... The only thing I'm asking for is some pack should stay closer to the remote uh, to the remote uh, start. Out. Is that really too much to ask? Uh, almost. I think these uh, stations cannot be detonated. No. No, too far away. Yeah, so those guys here are also walking away from all of the explosives. Dang you, AI. All right, I'll try something else. Let's move over here and hope that they are going to follow me, which would position them right next to the car. Alright, that's good enough. I, I'm not sure. Well, maybe it's not good enough. No, it's not. It's just going to kill one of them. I would be okay with two, but that's as far uh, as much of a concession that I'm willing to take. It 
Sometimes you need to be patient. We're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. So maybe this time they can just stay a bit closer to the car. Can't unfortunately blow up the train. Alright, come on. Oh, that looks beautiful. Stop, 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 stop. Perfect. There you go. Sometimes all you need to do is wait. I'm at your service. And, so, and once you are done waiting, it's time for this here. Beautiful little 12 points of damage. There you go. On Overwatch. We still haven't even lost our cover, so technically the timer shouldn't start uh, now. It seems as if the timer wouldn't start. Volk says I am to obey. I loaded these cartridges myself. Good, let's see how many we can kill without the timer starting, because once the timer starts, uh, this all uh, gets a bit more nasty. I assume we're going to fight against three to four packs, okay? And once the timer starts, all of these crates will start to disappear. Which is really a bummer. By the way, they could end up here? Oh, well, or here. Well, here, yeah, yeah, yes. Very much so, yes. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. Friendly fire. Yes, I really don't care. If that means that a couple of crates are going to die. Wow, my computer just refused to calculate it. Oh my god, my computer just died. Not sure what exactly happens, but everything just died. No choice. We should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. Got it covered. Uh, yeah, I do agree. Okay, let's take a further look. We are halfway in. <laughs> we have destroyed the entire landscape. I will reposition. 
I guess the question that I'm asking myself is how many more enemies are we going to find? Is so that going to be the last peg? Okay, so that's one. Where are the other two? Okay, there's two, there's pr probably a third. There's a letter, here's a letter. I don't think that they will take the high ground, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to be discovered. Right. So we're still overwatching. This guy here is seeking. If he would have found us, we would just we would have just uh, taken a shot at him, which would have probably dealt enough damage. Uh, yeah, it would have killed him because we do have a superior stock. So. No need to be afraid. Can't remote start anything up here. And that seems to be the last pack right there. And this mutant here gets surprisingly close. Okay, so it requires patience. let's make sure we can damage these guys sufficiently. This will still not uh, uncover us. Very nice, the mutant takes some extra burning, that's good. And we still haven't started the timer. I think it's about to start now. By the way, highly unrealistic uh, that he would... I mean, we haven't even taken a shot. This is a clear sign that the AI uh, will spot you out at some point. Let's think for a second here. My life is in your hands. 
one, two, three. We're seeing all three of them hunker down. Let's get rid of uh, the stun lancer. Thanks to our superior stock, we're dealing enough damage. And let's reload. Burning certainly helps us. Alright, another hit. I think next turn we can finish it. Just want to make sure we have zero chance of being seen or spotted out. Even if that means we're losing two more crates. So I didn't want to take a chance. We could have killed one more. But I think with our... Um, with our teamwork ability, we should be fine eliminating both of them. So moving to here, 100%, yeah, that's not 100%, really 100% kill. This here could be a hit, but I prefer to stay completely out of line of sight. We're going to reload, and next turn we're going to kill him. Back into the shadows. Let's go. Very good. Took a lot of turns, but at the end it was well worth it. I think we even managed to secure 8 crates, which is pretty pretty good. Nice, and 2 promotions, that's even better. So... Extra radius for explosions and more damage, yes please, because uh, that will also um, be relevant for remote start and lightning hands. I really like this tag team. For certain missions uh, they are pretty good. Wow, look at that. 150 supplies. A lot of alloys. That will be enough for us to do uh, the weapon upgrades. Lot of cores, superior conditioning. Wow, that's nice. We certainly need um, a GTS soon because otherwise we can't even use them. 
And a couple of corpses. Yeah, overall really successful mission. I like it. Yeah, this here is going to be a GTS next. Maybe, maybe, yeah. No, it's going to be a GTS. Extra intel would be nice, but let's continue with the radio relay station. So finally we got mine shields and we should at least produce one of them. Plated armor is also good, but let's continue with Gauss weapons first and probably go for plated armor afterwards. If we were to take a mine shield, that would be 60 supplies. Yeah, I'm e easily going to do that. And look at us. Um, five alien alloys for, um, for our Templar weapon. Yes, definitely. And I think even the mag pistol uh, with, uh, the, with how many uh, sidearms with lightning hands and later face-off we're going to use, I think that's worth it. We're still having enough alien alloys. I'm not going to go for the skirmisher upgrade. Shotgun, yeah, we need two engineers anyways, uh, but shotgun and sniper definitely, and probably also uh, the, the heavy gun, so the... Ray, uh, the uh, the automatic gun, the LMG. We're going to have reduced resources. Yep, okay, that's... That's bad, but it could be worse. For instance, getting Avatar Project uh, progress. All right, when a chosen gains information about an XCOM, a portion is passed along the assassin as well. Well, that is okay. I like it. So uh, that's not going to happen, so I'm not terribly uh, afraid about it. This, however, sucks. And soon, hopefully, our sabotage will prevent uh, the Avatar progress from uh, project from making too much progress. There is a new income. And on every mission, there is a small chance that a resistance soldier will join the XCOM squad is exactly what we would need. You would power yourselves with the most extreme among your kind. There is hypocrisy in questioning the elders. We do not have the intel, nor do we have uh, the contacts. We would need to upgrade that. But next up is definitely going for Western Europe. Uh, difficult. Yeah, let's continue to heal faster. Avenger plotting new course. Double checking really quick how long Roby would be out of uh, battle for now. So that's a. Uh, Roby's actually back, but Magister is still out for 11 days, which is okay. We can scan a couple of days, that's fine. There we go, month number three is over. Avatar progress. A lot. We are getting uh, scalded for not being good enough. Shogun, oh wow, that is bad. Can summon advanced stun lancers is definitely a very, very difficult talent to deal with. That is okay, retribution is not a problem. Sabotage is not very nice.
Uh, we want to prevent the wild hunt. I really don't want uh, the Chosen to fight against us. And this here is daunting as well. Another alien facility, one more week. That's a problem. Okay, we got a couple additional options. Uh, more power for the Avenger. Research breakthroughs. I think we're going with the power for now. Um, because the excavation will be done before uh, before uh, the generator will be uh, will be up and running so this will save us a couple of, sort of days like market 33 percent reduction I think we're going with the mission timers increased by two that's good for now because we had problems with timers we don't have the best orders. Well, we do have the best one, which is uh, the headshot, but we we could use a couple more. Thirty-nine more hours, and we will reduce the avatar progress a bit further. We need to get additional contacts soon, so that's our number one priority: getting intel and further contacts because we want to prevent. Well, actually, the number one priority is getting the Avatar project reduced, but that's happening by invading uh, facilities, right? There we go. Nice little debris clearing. And since we do have enough power, like I predicted, and since that takes 12 more days, we have the full option of what do we want to buy. Uh, buy. Infirmary could be a good idea for heal uh, reduction resistance comms could be a good idea to finally um, expand further gts could be a good idea uh, to get the uh, individual upgrades but also the pcs's um, it's a difficult decision let's think it through we could Theoretically get uh, increased healing rate by scanning, just like we're currently doing it. So the infirmary is good, very good, but it also needs an additional um, in engineer to, to be there, which, by the way, is our shortage at the moment, so it's maybe not as good as we thought. Workshop, by the way, would help us with engineers, but that is even another can of worms that I don't want to open. Anyway, so... Uh, Guerrilla Tactics School would be good for PCSs. We do have the two conditioning PCSs, which would help us with survivability. I really like it. And the resistance communications uh, piece would give us additional resistance comms. Um, we could, however, also be lucky. The longer you stay with maximum um, uh, communication rings, the more likely it is that the game will give you um, the option to scan for an additional resistance rank. Uh, also, there are orders uh, that allow you to gain additional uh, communication slots. So this building is not necessary. It is good, though. I think we're going with a GTS for now. And as much as it pains me, but we're not... We're really not going to... Uh, let him help building it. This needs to build on our own because uh, the alien debris will not clear themselves. So need to be very, very, very mindful with where we put the one engineer that we do have. We're getting an emergency signal from our people. Nice. Okay. So, well, quote a quote. Nice. It's good because it's an additional mission and one which isn't too difficult. We should be able to pull it off. Uh, not so nice because we still have conventional weapons with uh, Zirkim and Ro uh, Zirkim and uh, Renvim. Um, yeah, let's do that in the next mission and see how we're uh, how well we're doing. Uh, I like the idea of the ambush. Um, it uh, means there are a couple of losses. Loss usually means we get uh, some extra, um, some extra uh, experience, and that means we can level up faster. 
All of that is going to happen in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching uh, this time. And uh, please let me know what you think about the run so far. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.